Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FB Games with another video on Mr. Plants vs. Mr. Zombies. I was going to do, I don't know if I said that, but I was going to do the dual classic mode tonight, but unfortunately I just, well, I didn't really want to do it, so I'll do that tomorrow morning, because I've pretty much got a day off school tomorrow, so I'll be able to make a few videos tomorrow. Takeover will be out tomorrow as well, guys, so you'll have a nice long two hour or something video to watch, but... Tonight, I just need to do a quick video, so I thought this would be okay. So, we're gonna get into it. I'm just gonna do the first two levels of World 5. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Well, they even found the way onto your roof. There's some persistent zombies, dude. Do you need to use cabbage pots here to a serious angle? Remember that, and you're good to go. Alright, so this doesn't look too difficult. Obviously, we're gonna take some flowers. Obviously, we're gonna take the cabbage pots. Now, what else? Can I move the screen across? I don't think I can. But, could I put pea shooters at the front? Or would they not work? I'll take them just in case. I'll obviously take the tall nut. I'll take the squash. I'll take the cherry bomb. I'll take the torch wood, I think. And uh, I don't really need anything else. Although I will take a pumpkin just for protection. Let's try, let's try that and see how it goes. Oh fuck, with plant pots, I forgot about these. I had to completely forgot about the plant pots. This is going to be a problem later on in the game. If you guys have played this game, you'll know why. If you guys haven't played this game, then you'll find out. Obviously, we're going to just do the same thing as usual. Two rows of sunflowers. What's the first zombie? Oh, it's just a normal one. Okay, let me get a few more suns. I see one more. Come on, it's not... Alright, it's not too much to ask. So, we'll place that there. Wow, they're slow, aren't they? Hello, oh, Jesus. Wow, they actually are. They're actually really goddamn slow. Okay, but they do twice as much damage as a normal pea shooter, so I guess that's good. That's fine for now. We'll just keep doing this strategy for now. I don't know what the strategy is going to be in the future. I really want to get this Plants vs. Zombies game finished. So I might be doing loads of parts over the next few days. I might try and get it started before Saturday. Although today's Tuesday, so I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen. It would be quite cool to do that. Let's just, let's just have a nice little plan of cabbage pots here. It seems like it's an okay plan. If we need anything desperately, I've got all the stuff that I really need. This might be easy enough. Oh crap, that zombie almost started eating the plant pot. Alright, so let's do this. That seems okay. I think maybe putting a walnut in front of, um, in the first line of all the plant pots might be a genuinely good idea. I think that's a pretty good idea, if I'm honest. So let's keep placing some flowers. A zombie should die before he eats the tall nut. Again, if not, I might be a bit screwed. So each one of those rows now has a cabbage pot in it. And that middle row is going to need the tall nut as well. Yeah, it's going to be no problem. It's going to be, it's going to be dead as well before he eats him to that walnut properly. I see the other one, I'm not too sure, but let's hope so. Let's hope it's the same. Oh, you fucking toilet. Forgot about these guys. That's okay, that's not too bad. As long as he doesn't take the plant pot as well. And we'll, what are we going to do now? Because I've got all I want to do. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll put, place another row of cabbage pulps. So it's more ammo. I say actually it's a good idea, like if someone's told me it, I'm saying I'd just find it off myself, but you know. Those taunts are getting really eaten, so so. Let's try and stop that from happening. I don't like putting in the middle row when there's 
Clearly no need for it. Just yet. Mmm. Now let's fall in there. Because I feel like that rock could be a problem. Although it doesn't seem like that's too much of a problem. There's no talent in the top row, so let's put that there. I think we are good for this round, although there might be a little plant stealer or two that comes in and steals stuff. I've got cherry bombs for those if I really need them, but like, they're not too much of a concern early on. There's going to be a few of them in this wave, I can just tell. Okay, all one of them, holy shit. Oh no. Oh. Right, okay. That might be a bit more of a problem. Let's just place a tall up there as well. And we should be fine for this round. If not, then we might not be, obviously. But I think we are. Also, there's always this power I need. Oh, can I have planting fire pots? Okay. That might be a problem. But we have done the level completely and successfully. So if we all get to move plot Oh, there we go. That helps. Flower pot lets you plot on the roof. This should be zero. I don't know why the 25. But okay. We're going to do the second level after this, obviously. Hey, now we've got some new items to sell. Okay. Okay, what's this? Puts your spike. Okay. What's this? These roof cleaners add an extra line of defense to the difficult roof levels. Yes, let's definitely get them. That's That sounds good. Advert, cool. So you can't really have lawnmowers on um, the roof, obviously. So, it's probably best to have, like... Obviously best to have roof cleaners. So we'll take those, and we'll take... I'll take a few of these now because I know I'm probably just going to take the same as last round. But I know, like, I can use. Um. Try to think of words here. I can use pea shooters now because I can plant plant pots anywhere. So let's give this a go. If it doesn't go to plan, we can always change some stuff up. And we've got those roof cleaners if need be at the back as well now. So it's all good. We should be able to get through World 5 pretty okay. Maybe not. As he continues further on, but you never know. We'll keep looking. I really wanted to do a Bejeweled video today, but like I just didn't have the motivation to, because it was a classic mode one, I don't really... I'm not really a fan of the classic mode ones. I just realised that the front row of flower pots are actually not there. That's incredibly helpful. Is that so I have to plant them there like that? Because that just costs my sons then, it's more of a problem. Hopefully a plant pot doesn't get stolen with the thing that gets stolen if I get those stealer zombie things. Oh crap, I need to get some more sunflowers on the go. And shit, I actually need to get some more catapults on the go. So could I get a few more suns? There we are, lovely, lovely, lovely. Exactly the amount I want. I might put some pea shooters at the front instead of having tolerance there, because the tolerance were actually too bad. They were kind of, but like, not terrible. Sort of thing, you know? Sorry, I had a hiccup. Huh. Right, let's do that. And we, we're slowly progressing, we've got two waves to get through this, this level, of course. But it's all good, we'll be fine. Okay, we need to put a cabbage pot in the middle row now. And put a plant pot there as well. Just for extra stopping power. I don't know if it actually does extra stopping power, but you know. Right, it's just precautions. It's gonna be a corn head soon, I can just tell. Probably pretty probably on this next after these two zombies will be a corn head, so I need to be prepared for that. So let's place a plant pot there. For now, let's keep doing some flowers. Until, of course, the clone head. Oh no, there isn't a clone head yet. Until the clone head comes along, we'll keep doing some flowers and cabbage pots, and then when one comes along, or possibly two, we can stop them, no problem, so it'd be fine. I just had a pretty good idea. 
Oh shit, this guy. Okay. Alright, let's just waste a few stones to stopping that guy. Because I feel like he's going to be a major problem. Can he jump over since the angle of the roof is different? No. Okay, good. Alright. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. And then put in a three Peter there. And that might be a genuine plan. Well, I could have maybe done it with it, done with it in the top row, but it's fine. I've got the tall nut back. That might be more helpful. And if we could do a strat of that, then possibly it might be easier to get rid of this guy as well as. Oh shit. Cabbage pole? Are you serious? Okay, if the cabbage pole gets eaten, I'll just use a cherry bomb. Oh my god, okay. Sick. That strategy doesn't seem like it's gonna work. So let's try a different one. Let's go do different sorts of tests, you know, just to see. And that sort of thing will work. I'll also do a three-peater next to the tall nuts at the top as well. Because I feel like that could be okay. Need a pumpkin to re uh, recharge first, of course. I'm, so, I'm trying to think of game plans. Obviously doing another row of things at the front is a good idea. You can see that. Okay, that zombie's going to die in a couple of seconds anyway, so not much of a concern. Maybe a little bit of a concern. Ah, no concern. Okay, good. So let's do what I said I was going to do, and let's put that there. Let's put what we're doing. This in here. But let's also do this. Just to just for certainty, you know. And I just realised that you can actually plant on that roof bit. So if you want to use a cherry bomb, then that's possible. Which is always good. I'm gonna put that cherry bomb there. I'm gonna not do a cherry bomb that plant pot there just to stop him. Just to slow him down a second or two. I think we are good for this round though. I think we had a good game plan here. I'm thinking maybe next time bringing the torch wood and just utterly destroying. Let's just do a little maneuver. And that's that problem solved. Headed off at the pass. So we should be okay for this round, but obviously there's going to be the plant stealers and then the zombie givers, of course. Which are the same people. I'm going to put tall nuts in the front line. I'm leaving this fourth line, the line between the cabbage pulps and the other stuff at the front, empty. I'm not actually sure why I've done that, but I have. I mean, let's do another line of cabbage pots actually, extra ammo. That sounds like a plan. I had that last level, so I could probably do it again this level. I feel like I'm making more than enough sun to complete this level. So, I think I should be good. I'm also just going to put some pumpkins around the tall nuts for some reason. I don't actually know why. These, these ones that are in the same row as the shooters, obviously. Not the good ones at the front, because they're like the main guard. But these ones are less protected because they're the shooters sort of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put protection around the tall nuts on the top and bottom rows. And then, like, it's just full, it's foolproof. It's absolutely foolproof. There's no way of getting past it. Even if some plants do get stolen, I'm pretty sure I've built a good enough defense here. I could even pumpkin the tunnels at the front. Nah, the recharge is too slow. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Okay, so... Taking my tall nut. So that's no problem. Like, those things can be a hindrance sometimes, but they're not too bad. Because if I just take a tall nut, I can just put it back. It's easy enough. So I'm just going to let this one play out, although there are quite a few in that line at the f uh, in the middle, but that won't be too difficult to deal with, I'm sure. I think everything will be a-okay, and just for extra protection. 
I could use a cherry bomb, but I wanna. I don't wanna like resort to cherry bombs all the time. I'll try and do it as, as least cherry bombing this as possible. Cherry bombs are just like a insurance if I get really, really stuck. But at the moment, I'm not really, really stuck. I've had a good start to World Five. I actually want to keep playing this, but I need to go to sleep soon. But what we unlocked here, I'm about to do another video later tonight. Is this the sweet corn thing? The shooter? Colonel Paul flings kernels, corn kernels and butter at zombies. And if I remember correctly, the butter does stop them. But that will be saved for next time, so I don't know why I click next level. But I might power another two levels tonight. Possibly. Possibly not. I'm not sure. But anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the first two levels of World 5. And I'll see you next time for whatever I record.